I'm Gaines Murdoch, President of the Creative Writing Society. President of the Creative Writing Society. For the next couple of minutes, I'd like to take you on a journey. For this video, I'd like to show you the sort of guy I am that you were smart enough to elect President of the Creative Writing Society. I remember when Gaines Murdoch was elected president of the Creative Writing Society. It was just a sort of mad joy and enthusiasm, a lust for power. So then he became more than just a man, he became, became an idea. The ideas don't die. Let me tell you a bit about myself. My hobbies include reading, um, for instance, our anthology. <laughs> Gaines Murdoch, you write similes like James Joyce. Jesus. And sunbathing, excuse me. I also like to keep in shape. And of course, writing creatively. In my own writing, which is largely historical fiction, set during mid-16th century Russia, I like to think that I express a raw tenacity that people find makes my stories truly unique. Ivan's wolves attacked Prince Andreevich. The blood stained their claws and the lying snow. Ah, they ripped his legs off. Limb from limb they came. Blood spurting all over the ground. Ah, it was terrible. Onlookers were so disgusted that they threw up into the snow and snow mixed with vomited blood. And, oh God, it was like our... Of course I make mistakes. After all, I'm only human. <laughs> but seriously, I believe my responses are firm but fair to other people's work. I don't pussyfoot about in my responses, unlike others in the Creative Writing Society. I hope they still wanted me to have their treasure. I hoped I'd find it soon. Along, down, along, up. The tunnel was so old and the walls were covered in moss. Along, down, along, up. They wanted me to find it. They did. This wasn't just constant digging. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, is no one else thinking what I'm thinking here? I mean... Don't get, uh, fantasy's kind of done, isn't it? You know, it's Lord of the Rings all over again. Uh, it's uh, that Aragon thing, the dragon film. It's uh, just so fucking bored with it. I mean, come on, think of something else. There are so many genres out there. Historical fiction, romantic, sci-fi, any fucking thing. Come on, do something else. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, I've got to get another drink here. No more Russian shit again. On the whole, I think I run the society well, and I'm a fun guy to be around. But hey, don't take my word for it. Just ask some of my fellow society members. James Murdoch is a very creative man. I mean, for example, did you know that the phrase fishing for compliments was invented by him back in 2003, after one of his short stories was given mixed reviews. The story was about Russia. And so he decided to take them to the local sea life and ask them what their opinions were. President Murdoch is a great guy. However, there are misconceptions. Number one, he did not have relations with that woman. And number two, he always pays his child support all four installments. One thing I like to say about Gaines Murdoch is he's got the most amazing voice. I see him nurse a nurse an octopus back to health, I see him tame a wild grizzly bear. I mean, I see him read to needy children and they always love it. It just it's got this epic quality, you know, he can boom to you across the night sky, but he can also whisper really gently to you. To you lies. So uh, you. David, yeah. Um... That's a bit too much. Uh, I do have a great voice, but uh, David, you took it a bit far there. A bit, a bit um, too far. Yeah, uh, so um, I, I won't be coming round later on. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mine is great. It really is great. Some of the others are pretty good as well, but mine is great. No.